Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back again today on Sky Factory 4 and this is episode 11. I'm standing on my new base or what will be my new base as I start to move things over and we're going to start this process today. I certainly hope this goes well. I have an idea and I think it'll work so we're going to try this and see if we can get it going here. So before I start, I want to say thank you everybody for the likes. You guys have been uh, liking this series really a lot and I'm really impressed by that. I always have comments. I always have good comments, great comments, some constructive things that I can do and those things have helped me out somewhat. So thank you for those as well. If you're new here though, please subscribe. It only takes a moment and it really helps out. So we're going to get started right here by working on some storage. Now, <laughs> I just saw this just a second. Look at all that sugarcane and cactus from Snad. Oh, that's really cool. We might have to get to that maybe in a later episode. I don't plan on working with that today. What I do plan on working with is storage and storing and getting these type of chests and things set up. So we're going to first work on a storage system, okay? So I want to go over here and I'm you know, cooking up some iron. You can see we've got a lot of iron going in here. We'll probably use a lot of iron in this process. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go look at Simple Storage, okay? Simple Storage is the mod that I used for the combustion generator. And we're going to work on a storage system and this thing is so cool, okay? First thing we're going to make is a, is a storage network master, okay? Takes blocks of quartz. Well, we now have quartz. Takes diamonds. We have that. And we have storage cables, okay? So let's get the blocks of quartz. I want to make sure that we know how to make it correctly, what we need to make. Takes regular quartz. Okay, we cannot make it with saps. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can make it with the uh, stuff from the saplings. Okay, so we'll run over here. I think this is quartz. And we'll just grab a lot of this because we know we'll need it, right? Yeah, we will. There we go. Let's just grab everything that we can and just make it and see what we get here. Okay, quartz. There's a stack. And there's a stack, and it looks like all we have are acorns left. But that's fine. That's plenty for what we need to do. Okay, so let's put all this back here. I don't need the sticks either. And I don't need this little piece of resin. Okay, so we have a bunch of blocks of quartz, and that works out really well. So the next thing we needed for, the, uh, for this piece that we're making, the storage network master, is diamonds. And I had a bunch of diamonds I put away... I think in here somewhere there's a bunch of diamonds okay so we got that okay and the last thing we needed was the storage cables well storage cables are just stone slabs and iron okay so i'm going to grab some iron and i don't think i have any stone cooked at the moment so that might be something we have to do right now i think if there's some stone we'll just use this for now so you can kind of see what i'm doing okay we'll make some stone slabs there we go. Okay, so let's make one of these. Okay, let's make this. And it gave us eight storage cables. And now let's make one of these. Okay, we have this block here, the storage network master. I will show you what that does in just a moment. Now we're going to do the storage request table. This just takes gold, a crafting table, and more of those cables. So we'll go get some gold. And we got to make a crafting table. There we go. Okay. And we will make that. Okay, so we got those two blocks. That's really cool. The next thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need these storage link cables. Okay, this is kind of kind of cool. And we're gonna need chests and we're gonna need more of these cables here. So let's just make all that we have there. That's good. And let's make up some chests. That's good. And let's make a bunch of these. Okay. Now it's only 28, but that'll do for what we want to do right now. Okay, now the next thing I want to work on before I get into this is uh, one more piece of the puzzle, okay? And that is the, this right here, the chest builder, okay? It's pretty easy as well. We gotta make more, another chest, might as well make some more. We know we need sticks, okay? So let's do that, make some chests. So we're gonna make more of these storage cables eventually anyway. And we need two of these. There we go. And now we have this chest uh, builder. Now I'm going to put this down probably right over here for now. And then what this does is, and this is what's really cool, and I saw this on another video, I don't want to show you this, 
is that you can create chests or backpacks with this, but you can create them with different sizes. So I can make it whatever color I want. Uh, I'm going to go with probably, I mean, I like red, but let's go with, this is storage. Um, I would like, a, I don't know. Let's go with uh, kind of like my maroon color. Yeah, why not go with that? Like right there, that's good, okay? But I want this to be a massive chest, okay? I want this to be huge. 24 columns, 12 rows. It shows you that I need 18 chests for that. I need 64 iron or stack of iron. I need a bunch of folk fences and some clay, okay? So let's go get that. Let's get the chest. We need 18. We only have 15. So we got to get some more chests. And we'll just make up a bunch more of that. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, there we go. And there we go. Okay, so we got the chests. We need to get some fences. Okay, so let's go look at the fence. Something just got destroyed. Oh, that's probably the sheep. Not enough fences there. We need more, uh, more, what should we call it? Um, let's get some of that there at work. Let's spruce this time. Okay, we got some fences. We need a stack of iron. Here's a stack of iron. And we needed, what was it that we needed? We needed clay. Do we have any blocks of clay in here? I'm not sure that we do. We can always go make some. I see some clay resin, and I saw some clay acorns. So that's probably all we need for clay anyway. So let's just do that. Okay, there we go. Let's go over here, and I'm going to show you this right now. We have all the pieces. Let's just put those in. We have the iron. We have, uh, did it all be the same fences? Uh, maybe they do yelling at me saying no so we got to make some more oak fences so let's get some more oak wood and make some more fences there okay we got plenty of sticks okay fences we're almost there guys so then you can't mix fences for this project that's just the way it is okay so there we are and look at this we have this compact chest okay now this is a great chest watch this Okay, it's neat, it's nice and colored. It's not quite the color I want, but that'll work. And here we go, watch this. Look at the storage on this thing. Oh my gosh, so it's 24 by 12. It's a massive chest. And that's what we really, really wanted to have here. Now I can do a whole nother one. And I wanna make basically, I would like to get three of these if possible. So let's see if we can do that. Um, I need a whole stack of those. We're gonna need more clay. I don't know if I have any clay resin. Let's go with some more clay. I want three of these, okay? So let's make up some clay. We're gonna make up some more fences here. Um, clay first. And that's plenty of clay. Now let's get some more oak and let's make some, uh, some more fences there, and we should have enough then to make this. Okay. Okay, so what do we need here? Clay. What were we missing? Oh, chests. Yeah, we need more chests. We need a lot more chests. There's one of those. And now we need to get the whole thing again here. So we do that. Put a stack there. We got plenty of that. We just need more chests. Did that completely wrong. I hate when I mess up that. Don't you hate it when you do that wrong? Okay, and let's grab that. Let's just make a whole bunch of these. We know we're going to need these for lots of things during this project. Storage, guys, takes chests. Go figure. Okay, let's put this in here. Okay, and build it. There we go. I'm going to take this back out. So we got two of these plus this one right here. Okay. And we have three of these chests. And we have those other things that we made. I'm going to show you this right now. This is going to be really cool. It's getting dark again. It is getting dark. But we should be safe because everything is lit up. Now I'm going to put the storage system over this way. So we're going to start the storage right now. Okay. So basically, I'm thinking about having the storage terminal if you will, right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this block right here. This is like the a controller, if you will. And we're gonna put on top of that, this is the crafting grid. And you can see it's got storage. You can go back and clear out this here. You can see with different things. If you click on something, like 
how do you make this you can hit that and it would put it into this little crafting grid it is storage okay now um, let's see now what I want to do here is I want these chests and this one already has been configured I want these chests here to be uh, laid out right about here um, actually I'm gonna do I might even do four of these no I think I'm gonna put a space here hold on I, I want to get the right look okay so let's put one here let's put one here now they do not group together I'll do th I might actually do a bunch more of this, okay? But anyway, now that we have that, I'm going to put some of these storage link cables down here. And I'm curious. Let's go see if it works on the other side. Let me take this out and put it over here. I don't think it does. I think it only links to one way. It does only link to one way. So, yeah. But anyway, you can see i got two of these hooked up. And now, when I go into this on any square, if I put things in here like all this... Okay, and you look, it's been put into this as storage. Okay, so that's going to be the core of the storage based system is this block right here, and these chests are kind of like the backing storage, if you will, of uh, the system. Okay, so I'm going to get this kind of configured the way I want really quick, and then I'll be right back and we'll start to do some work on all of those trees. The next step in this project is to basically get working on moving the storage of these the generation of these trees and the storage of these over there now this moving part is going to be a, a real pain but i think we'll be okay with this but first we have to actually get something set up and how we're going to work with this and access the storage system and what we're going to do is we're going to use these filing cabinets now these filing cabinets take iron bars and basically a chest okay so we're going to need more chests because of course we need more chests we always need more chests right let's get a bunch of these here um, can we make chests like this? Yes, we can. Okay. That's plenty of chests. Okay. the uh, I was looking at saplings here. And I counted out how many saplings are actually there. And it looks like there are 52 different saplings. Okay. So I'm going to show you from kind of far away here. So what I did was I divided it 56 or 52 by 4. And you get a row of 13. 13, 13, and 13. So we're going to have each of these bonsai plants on a row. Okay, so we're going to need a file cabinet for each one, though. And that's the next part. So if I go to the cabinet here, this thing here, I need 52 of these. So we got the chest. We need to get 52 times 8 of the iron bars. So we're going to need a lot of iron. And I have been cooking up iron pretty quick. So let's make a bunch of iron bars. I didn't mean to do all of that. I guess we'll be decorating a lot with iron bars, but that's okay. Okay, so now can we make 52 of that? Do we just barely have enough to get that? Are you kidding me? I guess, you know, there we go, 52. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and I'm going to put these down first, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to use these, okay? So I have hooked up and kind of laid out a different way of hooking these chests up. Since we can't connect them on the same side, I'm going to put them underneath and going into these things so you can access this. Now, I made my GUI the size I like. That's why you can't see everything, but that's okay. And we'll put some more of these chests. As we need storage, we'll just add to it, okay? Now, they're going to branch around this corner, and then what we're going to have here is a line. I guess I could run a line there. I was going to line run a line the other way. I can't run it all the way there. It's going to have to go around. So we're going to have a... Let's see here. Let's go off the back here. This is a line for these particular um, cabinets, okay? Let me put a couple of these down so you kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this, okay? So you put these down here. Now, I know they're kind of linked up on different sides, and I think I can get rid of that with a crescent wrench, and I'll do that in a second. Can I even open these now? Yes, I can open the drawers, okay? So you can see they're like access cabinets, right? Like file cabinets that you would normally use. And we're going to have a run of these down here and on this side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So if I did this side here, let me do a couple more of these. So I have to run like this. I know it's not very uh, pleasing looking, but that's okay. We could run it underneath, I guess, but that would do more cabling. And maybe we'll do that later. But basically, that's the idea here. So we're going to go all the way down here with these cabinets. And then uh, once I get this all done here, I'll show you what we're going to do with inside of each cabinet. And this will be kind of tedious. Um, <laughs> very tedious. Can we just go like this and go through here? 
obviously we're gonna need more link cables okay so this is gonna take a little bit of time now uh, once we get this system set up though then we should have access to all of our storage and our gen uh, generation of materials from the saplings in one place right there at the storage terminal that's the the goal of this whole project here is get this done and get all our storage nice and neat so we can just access it we don't have to go into it anymore or do anything okay so it looks like we're going to need more of these network link cables okay because so i only got two more okay so we're going to go and build some more of that here and uh, let me get that kind of built and laid out and then we'll start the next part of this process after thinking about it even more i really like the idea of having this stuff coming from underground and going over to there because i might be able to cloak this here so i'm thinking that what we'll do is we'll actually hollow this out here and we'll go down with these network link cables okay and try to go underneath this whole setup now this might be a trick i'm not sure how we're going to do this yet but we'll figure this out okay because i want this to go underneath and hidden and we see there's no place the way to do that really easily okay but there is don't forget we have this whole setup over here um so if i used uh let's do something that's not a border material let's get some oak planks there we go i can go out from over here i can go out underneath and get over there so let's go do that really quick okay because once you get one or two down at the level we're good okay so let's go do the side over here and then we'll do the other side and then we'll uh, have basically a way to go underneath here and then we can just take this wood out okay so are we there yet we are just about so i'm going to bring this underneath come on attach why is it not does it not attach like underneath that's a, a block against it okay there we go that's kind of odd but we'll take it okay we'll just do that and then okay so there we go we have that hooked up and now we're going to get rid of all of that and there we go okay and then i'll run back here do that okay so basically now the line goes through there and over and we can kind of repair this if i had the right types of wood and things i could repair this to make it look right okay but you get the idea now that basically what we're going to do is we're going to run the line underneath and now i can run um actually i could put open this up too hold on i'm thinking about this as i go here is that we can run another cable here okay and actually we don't need that other one over there do we that i'll have to go back and fix it but basically the idea being that then we can basically put this here we have two of them connected okay and we'll run the whole line all the way down here and run it from underneath okay let me get some more of the materials i'm still waiting on materials to make more of these link cables and then you'll see kind of like what i'm talking about uh in a moment okay just made up another batch of these link cables it took me a little bit to get the iron because we ran out of iron from using the iron bars so we're gonna see how this looks now i did dig out underneath here and the idea here is that we can run this line all the way over here okay and then we're gonna put another one come on there we go here and then they should hook up to the file cabinets that we put on top okay and there's some more file cabinets I'm going to go visually look to make sure it looks like they're hooking up. And I can't really tell, but I believe so. You can kind of see them going up. Okay, so that's good. So now we have this bank of <laughs> pieces here. This is pretty cool. We're going to finish this up over here. It's very slow to uh, register, and I have to be shifting when I do this here. But it, maybe they hit right in the center. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so that's this whole side is done. So now we just have to do this whole side. Let me vein mine this. And there we go. Now we're going to go basically, instead of going down here, I can probably get rid of some of this too. Oh, don't lose that. Uh, we can go down right here like we did before. Okay, put one in there so I can mark it. There we go. And we're going to run through here and over. And then we're going to go up to here and over. Okay, so let's do this right here. So if we put this here and this here, 
And then we're gonna basically put this all down here. So let's get rid of some blocks. I have to get rid of the wood first. I'm not concerned about losing wood. We got so much wood, it's crazy. Okay. And then we gotta get rid of these blocks that are underneath. Okay, so this isn't bad, right? So we're setting up the storage array here, and it's taking a little bit of time, I know, but this will benefit us in the end, okay? So now all we need to do is, in the end, we're not going to the end, yeah, right, okay, so we gotta put all this down here, this is the one that are going under the row that's there. Yes, target, I'm targeting now the, the center, not like where the purple is, but the center of this, and that's why it's going a little bit faster. Okay, there we go. Two more. And then we gotta put these down. Okay. Okay, so in theory, now, all of this is hooked up. All of these are hooked up, and we're ready to go, okay? So now we're gonna do some movement of material. And I am not gonna like this part, but we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. I think I'm going to put some of this stuff into here. Uh, let's, I'm going to open it. No, no, no. We're not going to use it yet. I want to get these... Uh, I want to do this in the right order. I want to get the plants first. So they're kind of going to their stuff first. Uh, yeah. It's If you put it in a different order, it might get storage system confused. It might get me confused. So we're going to put some of this away right now. And we're going to get some materials here. If we have any space. I'm just going to throw everything in here so that we know... We're good to go with the uh, stuff. Okay, so we're gonna work on a particular plant now. Uh, we're gonna look at, I think we have, well, we obviously don't have an oak sapling. So I'm gonna go with something like, let's go with something that we want to get over there pretty quick. Let's just work on iron, okay? Iron is a good one, right? Okay, so iron always has an iron sapling. Okay, and I'm gonna get that. It's These are what it drops, okay? It drops sticks, it drops wood uh, it drops acorns it drops resin and it drops leaves okay these are the six types of drops that we have to account for uh, with this particular uh, sapling okay so we're gonna sleep through the night here if it would let me sleep through the night come on there we go so we have to make now for the file cabinet we need to make files okay so let's go out here and look here we gotta make these files, an empty file folder. And look, it takes paper, and guess what we have tons of right here? Let me break it right. It's raining, sugar cane. I wonder how much of it fell off the edge. <laughs> That's great. Um, we didn't get a lot. A lot less than I thought we would, but it's okay. Because a lot of it is falling off the edge. <laughs> That's okay. Because it'll keep growing. Now, I was told, and we're going to do something really quick here. I was told that uh, you can put a clock on it and it'll make it grow fast. You see, it's not really growing. Okay. So, we have one of these clocks here. Am I out of that? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm going to grab this clock. This redstone clock. And I'm going to put it right here. Now, basically, I believe if we set these down to like one tick delay and one tick firing. Look at that. Look at how fast that grows because of this clock. Isn't that awesome? So we can get as much of this stuff as we need to make paper. Okay, so to make paper. Paper. Need more paper. We're going to need a lot of paper because of all of the files that we're going to make. But that's just awesome, guys. That is such a great thing right there. I love that. Okay. We had more over here. I didn't see it. Okay, so we got a lot of paper. Now, from that, we're going to make tons of these files. So I might as well just make them right now. Okay. Now that we have the files, we can start to work on this system. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move these over here out of the way. And I'm going to show you what you have to do. Okay, these are the six types of drops, okay? So we want to have six folders, six file folders for each of these. What you do is you take one of these, 
and one here and it should show you this with a little red thing and basically it maps that material to this folder okay so we're going to do that for each of these just like that and we're going to have to do this for every single plant and every time not just one oak but we're going to do it for each one because we want to get the oak uh, from that but you have to do this in a crafting grid there okay now we have all of these files okay so let's go put those away this is the iron sapling now i'm, I'm just going to pick a spot i'm going to put it you know what i'm going to put it right here um, let's put all of our like metals starting over here okay so i'm going to open up this cabinet like that and i have these files here and you just put these in to the file cabinet Okay, and it's kind of like folders that work inside of a filing cabinet, like you would think. Okay, okay, now you see how it says one, 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 one up at the top, oh, one oak wood, one acorn. Okay, now if everything's done right, I should be able to go over to here and I should see one of each. Here we go, and it's not showing up there. I must have done something wrong. Maybe I have to be hooked up to the back of it. Now I have to do some diagnostics. I did do this in test, guys, and this worked fine. Oh, we didn't hook that up. Aha! I derped. Let's go get some more cables. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go do this. We gotta get some wood so we can go over there. We gotta get some of those link cables. Um, let's get some wood that's okay. That should be plenty. And find those link cables. There's some more. Okay. So I didn't even hook it up, guys. But basically, <laughs> what I'll show you in a second is that should be working. I left the file cabinet open. That's not good. Okay, so we're going over to that link over there. Okay, let's just go this way. A bunch. And then this should be linked up. And we should have access to that file cabinet from our storage controller or our, our uh, crafting grid or what have you. Okay. This is it right here? It says right here. Okay. So put it on the center. Coming down right there. And there we go. And look, they all linked up. You see that? So they're all linked into the system. So we're going to go back here. We're going to grab that. We're going to go up here. Let's close this drawer here. Okay. This cabinet is good to go. Now if I go here, look, there they are. Those are, what are the iron pieces that I need. Okay. So now... What we can do is go over here, grab the iron plant here. This is the iron one, right? Let's blow away this. Okay, there we have the hopping bonsai pot right there. And we have the brown mulch. This is our best mulch right now. And we have our sapling. And what we can do is we can go over here and put this down. And it will start growing and filling up. And we'll see that in our storage system. I, this is just fantastic. I really like this idea. Okay, so there we have that and we have that And now we're gonna do this And it's growing okay, and I can go in here. I think I can go right on here and put like this other one down See how I did that I just clicked on it and it took that so we can go grab stuff from over there and run it over here and put it in here and it will show up here I see we have one 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 two that's the extra sapling and that tree is about to grow and as soon as it grows to a and produces anything there we are boom 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 boom. we got all that stuff now i don't have to go through sorting through all my chests i don't have to go through all this i can just run here grab what i need so if i wanted to make for instance iron amber i do this i click over here and i think ah oh, there's something and it moves the pieces we need from the storage system so this is going to be a really really fantastic okay now i'm not going to bore you with everything that i'm going to do for each of these uh, particular pieces these things are going to take a lot of time to move okay but uh if i were to go into here as an example this chest is done if i were to grab all this stuff that it produced okay and we're going to go back over here i can should be able just to right click or double right click onto the particular uh, file cabinet and it should didn't store it all there so you took all the inf thing out of there and there we have look at all this we have acorns and all sorts of storage and you notice it's not using any of these yet it's using the file cabinet so we're good this is fantastic okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rest of this particular chest and get it over there and then uh, we'll see what we go on from here this shouldn't take too long right 
Oh, I can't get any more of that. That's too bad. <laughs> We're so close. So I think the next thing we'll do is I'll try to get all of the uh, metals, like gold and tin and all those things that are there. And I'll get those. I don't want you opened up. Um, and I'll get those over in a row. And then we'll see how long that takes and and see you know, how that looks, okay? I'm gonna, if any of these have like dirt instead of brown mulch, I'll put brown mulch on them. Okay, so this one's done, right? So let's just grab the chests. Okay, now this was some of the oak stuff that dropped as well. So I'm gonna take that over there. Okay, give me a few minutes, probably more like an hour or so, and I'll try to get at least some of this stuff moved over, okay? See ya in a bit. The chests are all gone, but it took about two and a half hours for you to move everything. It was quite a chore. But anyway, we did get this all done over here. You can see that all of the saplings that I have and all the different types are set up and they're here and they're running. So I can go into here and I can see certain things. I can already have 34,000 wood and lots of sticks because we get that from pretty much everything. Okay, so they're all working really well. Now what I want to do here though is I want to hook up the chests not having them be so high but be like right above the, the surface here. So I'm going to put these chests right here and I can put one here, I can put one here, I can put one here and of course we'll put another one there later on. And what we're going to do now though is something that I want to do to make sure the system works correctly. Now if you go onto one of these right here, I stand here so I make sure I don't fall off. See the little white ring there? that's underneath the chest. If you right click on that, you can see it has a priority. Now by default, it goes to zero, okay? Which means, as it says there, smaller goes first. So imagine that this is hooked up to all of those file cabinets. Each one has a zero. So I want this to be mega high. I want. I wish I could go faster on this, but I want it to go really high so that we, this is like the last place that'll happen. Uh, I'm gonna go with 64 on all of these. So, oops. No, am I not hitting that? Why am I not hitting that? Okay, let's do die that one. Okay, there we go. So basically what will happen then is that if I put something in that goes into one of the file cabinets, it'll go there first instead of the chest. And that's what we're trying to get to right now. Okay, let's put up 64 here. And there we go. Okay, so there we go. That should do it. Now let's just go ahead and test this. Okay, we know that these chests don't have anything in them, but we'll double check. And I gotta change my view here. Give me a sec. Change it to large, and then you'll be able to see the entire contents. There we go. Nothing in these three, okay? So let's grab, uh, let's go in here, and let's grab, I don't know, uh, some netherrack, okay? Now, of course, if we put it back in there, like this, okay? It should not be in any of these. And it did go here, so there is a problem with it where it's putting and sorting, and I'll have to figure that out. That was supposed to work, and that kind of bothers me that it doesn't. Um, lower goes first. Maybe the chests can't, or the file cabinets can't be put back. But that that's still okay. We can sort through that, okay? There's some filters here that you can put on and that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But at least we know that we can just grab some of the stuff. Like, for instance, I can always go into the chest and look. Oh, look, there's some stuff here. And I can just go run over and to the, uh, what is this one? Nether rack? That would be over. How did I get it over here? Nether rack's way over here. Oh, I've got it for, through the interface. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I can store the stuff there, okay? So that's pretty good. Now, this thing can be stored for and used for different things. But there's one last piece before I go today that I really want to work with here. And I'm going to change the view back to my regular view so that I can see better. And that is with simple storage again, okay? And that is the storage remotes, okay? Network without crafting from unlimited distance and a regular remote. Now this one takes some things here, which we pretty much have, don't we? Okay, so all we need to do, this one is just a little bit simpler, right? This one's a little bit more complex, but this is unlimited distance, and that's what we want to do. So let's go figure this out, okay? So we're going to run over here, and we're going to go and get pieces that we need to do this. I think this will be pretty easy, I'm hoping. I saw gold, okay? We need to make a storage master that takes blocks of quartz and diamonds. Okay, so let's go find our, there's blocks of quartz. It takes diamonds, there's some diamonds. Uh, let's see if we do that now. Let's see, the storage piece. 
I need more of these. Okay, so we need more slabs. And that requires stone. Do we have more stone? We have two stone. Oh, we need like a little bit more stone. I'm looking around for... Oh, there's some slabs right there. Okay. And some iron. There's some iron. Okay. So let's make up these. There they are. Make up one of these. There we go. Okay, so what do we need now? We need just basic a piece of glowstone. And we know how to make glowstone. That's, that's what the glowstone does. And wasn't there a glowstone there? It's a piece of glowstone. Does it count? Even though it's been chiseled? No. So we'll take the chisel. To find it. There it is. We'll chisel it back to normal. Okay. And then that should work for that. Yep. And now I need slime balls. Well, slime balls is just a piece of slime. Um, right here, some slime balls. There we go. Okay, so... And bang. There we have... Where's the remote? That particular advancement. So now, with this, we have to basically link this up to our storage system. Okay? And I believe all you do is you right-click it here onto the, the storage network master. And then I can just now right-click... And there it is, okay? So there you go. I can access the stuff from here. Now, it does not give me the ability to craft from here, but I can grab stuff from here, okay? So, like, I can say, okay, I know I don't need these in my inventory, okay? And they're now inside of the system. I gotta get that out of the search there. Um, you can see <laughs> here, if I go to Port Slab, there they are. They're inside of here. So I can go over here and grab stuff and throw it in the storage system, and we're good to go. So this is awesome. So I'm going to grab this stuff here. These are not blocks or anything that I would use normally. Did not get the gold. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Put the gold in there. I don't know why it wouldn't take that in there at the time, but that's okay. But you can see how powerful this is. I'm way over here. My storage system's over there. I can then go in and here and see pretty much everything that I have. Okay, now it's not sorting by uh, any particular way. I don't see a way to sort it by numbers or whatever, but you can see that you can get access to everything. So guys, what do you think? It's a pretty good storage system. Do you like what I've done here today? I hope so. Hey, if you do like this video, click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that way you get all the notifications. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.